Hey there, beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. I am Nastasia Thomas and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this beautiful lace front wig featuring the Beauty Reborn Virgin hair. Okay, so I'm using the Brazilian Deep Wave and I got a frontal and two bundles. The frontal is a 13 by 4 frontal and this is what the texture looks like. Really, really beautiful. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna, just going to open it up so you guys see all the curls really look. The two bundles that I'll be using is two uh, 12 inches and that is what I'm going to be using. It's really really pretty guys. I'm not just saying that because but it's <laughs> it's really really pretty guys. As you'll see throughout this video how pretty the curls are and how consistent as well. Okay, so I have a more detailed video on how to pluck and bleach the the knots. Um so I'm going to list that below. It's more detail, I'm just going to rush through this part. These are what I'm using, the basic white and the 40 volume developer. For more details, please check below for the link to how to complement the wig and that is what I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Okay, so you have to make the mixture really thick so that it don't seep through the lace. And then to prevent the baby hairs and the hair from bleaching, you can just comb it back and just pin it in place before starting to bleach. So for beginners, it's best to use like a knife, like a table knife, to do this part. It's way more easier and safer because with the brush, you have to apply some sort of pressure to get the product off the brush. But with the knife, it's, it's easy, it just glides on because you don't need any pressure because it will seep through the lace. It sit for 8 to 10 minutes and then use the Shimmer Light Shampoo and Conditioner to wash it out. So when positioning the lace frontal onto the dome cap, you have to make sure that the back part of the cap goes to the edge of the dome cap. This is just to ensure that it will be behind the ears and not in front of or, be, or too much behind. Because remember we need the sideburns and the front to look as natural as possible and this is the best way to get it. So once it's positioned properly I'm going to pin it in place and then braid the hair just to get it out the way. Okay so I always start from the middle and I sew to the left or the right. This is just to make sure that it lays flat from the middle down. So when stitching I do two stitches in the same position and then I move onwards but as you can see the needle comes through the middle of the thread instead of going around so I always make sure that it comes through the middle just to make it tight and well secure. Okay, so right here is really really important so just watch and see sometimes I know you make some wigs and you're like why is this wig so tight why 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 is my wig hurting my head so much it's so tight I can't bear it it's because you sew the elastic band that is supposed to allow movement in the wig when you come to this part do not sew the, the, the elastic band that is in the mesh so only the, the, the fabric part of it not the elastic band when you do that, it can move, it, it can stretch as, as freely as it should. If you stitch it down, when you are putting on the wig, it's going to be tight. Very, very tight. And what I always do to secure the, the stitching at the edge is to stitch in reverse. So I stitch going backwards. So I always use Taylor's Shark to do lines in the wigs because I want to get the U shape at the top. Sometimes when you stitch, you, you stitch freely, probably you're distracted or whatever, and you get this weird thing at the top and it, it, it just messes everything up. 
So what I do is use my Taylor Strock. You can use your white eyeliner pencil or any bright colored eyeliner pencil that you have. These lines will pretty much guide you to sew in the direction that you should, just to get the U shape that you want, that you should get. Okay, so I'll be using the T-pin just to pin the bundles in place so that I can sew with more speed. Uh, and also I'll be using the flip over method. In the description bar you will see a video titled how to construct a lace closure wig. It has all the details on how to sew the bundles onto the cap the right way showing you in detail how to do the flip over method the correct way because a lot of people are doing it the wrong way they just hear flip over and they just flip it over and think that's it it's not please see the video below how to construct a lace closure wig if you have any questions uh, for this video you can also link them in the comment section below and I'll be so happy to answer them so pretty much just watch and see what I do and I'll be back soon So once you have the U shape, you're going to start sewing the tracks horizontally until it's all closed up. There are a few steps that I didn't show. I will be doing another video showing you guys how I install the wig because I'll be putting it on somebody. 
I will show you guys the band and also the clips that I saw in that are already in right now. Um, I already have a video listed below on how to secure your wig using uh, wig clips or combs and elastic band. Please check that video out. It's very detailed and it has all the information you need in securing your wigs. So to lay my baby hairs, I'm going to use the olive oil mousse to get them nice and flat and get them in the direction that I want them to go in. Virgin Brazilian Deep Wave here from Beauty Reborn made into a wig. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. For any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, take care. See you then.